Well hello there guys! Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me on this little short video about some cruelty free slash vegan options that I've been really wanting to share with you guys here recently. I just wanted to do a little disclaimer just to say that the FDA has not established a regulation as to what a vegan beauty product is. So today we're just going to be going off of vegan beauty products being products that aren't made from animal secretions or any kind of an animal product. And I also just wanted to let you guys know that in no way did I accumulate all of these products overnight. Girl, I have gone into this with a very low budget. All of the products that I had before, like Maybelline and CoverGirl, all the products that are, that do test on animals, I used those all up and then threw them away. And then over time, I just went out and did some research. And eventually, I kind of came up with a little good collection of beauty products that I know are cruelty free and vegan and so today I just wanted to share with you guys some of those products that you may be familiar with so let's just go ahead and get into the video. So my first beauty product that isn't a makeup but are some brushes are the Real Technique brushes that are cruelty free. The Real Techniques um, they offer brushes and beauty blenders and all of their products I looked online and they said that they were cruelty free which was awesome because most makeup brushes aren't. So I have my blush bronzer highlighter and my beauty buffer or my beauty blender over there. I didn't know that Real Techniques was cruelty free but I was super excited because I didn't even have to go out and spend any money because I already had these. So I urge you guys to do your research and kind of figure out what you already have and what is a good foundation. Like you might be surprised you already might have some products that are cruelty free like my Real Techniques brushes. My next line of products are also cruelty free and vegan meaning that they don't use anything from animals and that is ColourPop. So today I have with me my two eyeshadows and a blush. I'm a kind of new to the ColourPop bandwagon but I've really been loving these products so far. I talked about them in my last video and talked about some of my favorite colors. I even feel better now that these are so cheap and they are cruelty free. As for face primer or face foundation or anything like that, I still use my BB Tinted Primer. And so I looked online and Tarte didn't claim to be vegan but it did claim to be cruelty free. Next line of products are products that I am absolutely new to but I have already fallen in love with and that is the Kat Von D products. I am living for Kat Von D right now. She is queen. She is bae. I just, I just want to be her. I picked up a new concealer and a new everlasting liquid lipstick. But first let's go ahead and talk about the concealer. So I switched out my Maybelline concealer that I've been using for years. I absolutely love it and I was really nervous because it was a concealer that didn't break me out and I was a little bit nervous to make the switch. I made the switch to Kat Von D's Locket Concealer and I love it so much. I love it so much more than the Maybelline. Not only is it obviously a higher brand and this was about $23 whereas the Maybelline was like $7.00. But this is well worth it. Not only do you get more product, but all of her products are vegan. They are all cruelty free. Under all of her products, she always says that they have never been or nor ever will be tested on animals and that she doesn't use any particles from any animals. So you don't have to worry about that. And this concealer is bomb, guys. So my next Kat Von D product was an Everlasting Lipstick. I heard a lot of people talk about Kat Von D's Everlasting Lipsticks and I understand why now because they are so amazing. I got the shade Double Dare and and oh my gosh, it is so good. Before I was trying to be more conscious on cruelty free products, I would just pick up a Revlon lipstick or a Maybelline lipstick and both of those product lines do test on animals. But all of Kat Von D's products are so good. I would really like to try to get into her foundation whenever it comes time for winter, but for now it's still summer and it's too hot and I don't want to mess with that. Next vegan and cruelty free product is a little bit controversial and something that I don't really understand. So this next product is by Birds and Bees and it's a lipstick. And so Birds and Bees is cruelty free and vegan. However, the company that owns them is Clorox and Clorox is not cruelty free and not vegan. So I don't really know how a specific one-sided company can say that they're vegan and cruelty free but the bigger company isn't. But I'm just going to go ahead and go with it that Burt's Bees is vegan and cruelty free. So if you can't go out and afford to get the Kat Von D locket lipstick and all that good stuff, trust me, I can't either. Like that was a splurge right there. Whenever I do want to go to the drugstore and just pick out a lipstick, I try to go to the Burt's and Bees section where they came out with these little lipsticks. So these are the Burt's and Bees line of lipsticks. And I got the shade 530, which is Lily Lake. And it's this really, really pretty mauve pink color. 
and I love it a lot. I've been wearing it all the time. It smells good. It has a good formula. This last brand is one that I'm super excited to talk about. I've heard a lot of YouTubers that are trying to also go to more cruelty free products talk about this as well. And this is the Pacifica Mascara. And this is also waterproof. But I love this mascara so much. Not only is Pacifica a vegan brand and not to mention also cruelty free, but they are so good. I love this formula so much. I'm wearing it right now and I have been wearing the Tarte Amazonian Clay Mascara, which is a super high-end mascara, but I will probably never go back to that again because not only is it A, really expensive, but this Pacifica Mascara, not only is it a drugstore product, but it works just as good and if not, maybe better. Unfortunately, whenever I went to Target, I couldn't really find a variety of Pacifica products. Hopefully they're gonna get more, but I'm pretty sure you could order them online, but you can definitely probably find this Pacifica waterproof mascara. It is so great, so you guys should definitely give it a try if you're looking for a new cruelty-free mascara. So those are all of my products that I've accumulated here recently that are vegan and cruelty-free. So I kind of wanted to end this on a note where I talk about some beauty lines that aren't vegan, or definitely not cruelty free and maybe if you were just a little bit more conscious about it you could just maybe try to stay away from them because if you're not giving money to the corporation if they're losing some consumers then your little act of doing something is going to matter in the long run I know that I thought whenever I started doing this that what did it matter but then I thought like I wanted to wear makeup at my own cost I just once I started to research what they did to animals and um, factories that test on animals it was just sickening and it made me feel awful that a choice that I've made to wear makeup not only affects me but it affects animals that have nothing to do with it I hope with this video is that it just gives you a couple of more options that you could do instead of going to CoverGirl, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Neutrogena, Revlon, Alme. Those are all beauty lines that do test on animals and aren't cruelty free. Going cruelty free and vegan doesn't even have to be very expensive or expensive at all. I know for a fact that Elf and Wet n Wild are cruelty free brands that are pretty much offered at any drugstore. Anyway, I just hope that this video was helpful for some of you that are maybe trying to think to go vegan or cruelty free in your beauty and makeup life. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one. Bye.